But then the other shapes work with the mouth open. So this is a mouth open. We talked about, first of all, just getting that as simple as possible. And you see how this comes down to a nice uh, small area and it widens up, but it's just very even as it rolls around the lip. Okay, and notice the the placement of that lip corner. Again, if that doesn't, in the default, if that doesn't wrap around sufficiently, but instead comes out here, that winds up looking strange. So the O shape works well with the the mouth open. Now again, I'm going to grab both of them on the both sides. So this is a shape to simulate um, sort of pucker or O shape, which you can use with the mouth in different degrees of openness, like this, or or pretty open. So now let's talk about the um, the joint system underneath. It's a, a simple system of joints that. Um, Aren't, aren't quite as many as the, uh, the original rig. So there's, a, there's one in the corner, but because of the blend shapes, this doesn't have to do a lot. It's mostly for lip shaping. So if we look at just this and this, uh, this is its range of motion. Okay. So the smiling and the, and the major mouth motions are done through the blend shapes. So this only has to do, uh, it has to do less work. And so this joint here, is going to split the difference when you uh, bring that jaw down. And so it just rides down half as much as whatever the jaw is doing. And that's just a, a real simple thing that you can do quickly. And because it also, because of simplicity, there's only one control um, other than that corner control on the mouse. So there's just this one control here and then the one in the middle. So things are kept very simple. But I think this could do the job of, of making the lip shapes for the uh, performance needs that we have. So you'd bring this down to create some kind of a shocked look. You might bring that down, might bring that down, maybe might bring that down. There's one in the cheek, which can uh, do some puffs and some sunken looks. Now the eyes are done very simply. Uh, you just ignore this eye. This is uh, just a a filler, but the, the hierarchy is important because uh, there's a control here where you can um, change the eye in terms of angle, but mostly this is needed for scaling uh, for the shocked look. So what you would do, well, let's look, let's talk at the lids. Rather than being a blend shape here, this is um, just a weighted joint. So you can get a closed thing. And it's weighted just to make sure that when you come down to the center, you're getting something that's close to being um, straight. That's sort of the whole goal of that, is getting a straight look. They're not super um, uh, robust because you can't do a lot of shaping. They kind of split apart. But again, the one-day rig uh, mandate didn't allow for too much, uh, too much experimentation there. One thing to make it perfect would be to make a blend shape. Once you hit this rotation value, you'd make a blend shape on that to make it perfect. Um, but so... Um, Tom has to look surprised, so what he's going to do is you're going to crank these open here. And you might use the rotation to kick it open a little bit there, especially when he's mad. So that angry look, you want to clear this part of the, of the eye. So if he's shocked, he's going to raise this here. Maybe he'll raise the bottom one a little bit. And then you might want to scale that whole eye and maybe go upwards just a little bit like that. So he's going to look pretty shocked once you do that. And then uh, on top of that, you're going to want to raise those brows, maybe add a little concern like that. And you've got yourself a shocked, uh, shocked character. In addition to that, we've got some controls for the head and, uh, and such. I think I showed the jaw control, which is just the um, rotation there. And of course, you can rotate it other directions, which is really helpful. And you can also translate it or scale it. And so that way you can do you can create lots of uh, lots of effects uh, subtly. Now that has a parent which um, can move both the upper lip and the whole jawline. So that unlike the jaw, which doesn't move the upper lip, the the controller above that does move the upper lip. And there's one above that which moves the entire lower face. And there's one above that which moves the entire upper head. So this is good for just a little bit of a cartoon. If you use this very judiciously, um, 
you can create just a little bit of a, a flavor to the shaping. And in this case, uh, like if this eye were to be closed more, then you'd angle it just a little bit that way. You're going to create um, a more intense expression than just this would. So that's what that's used for. And then in compressions, you'd want to scale it down or translate it down just ever so slightly. Um, and then, of course, there's one for the head. And one for the neck. This, um, this would be what I do with a, a one given one day to create a face rig um, for a background character or a simple production uh, uh, main character. You'd probably do, want to do something like this. Uh, the teeth, going back to the teeth, I um, added and operated on them just to uh, thicken them up so there's no gaps in between the teeth. See how there's, they're closer together. This will this will look better. Unless you have some specific uh, need to make them uh, parted. So, all right, with this in mind now, let's try to make a, a shape. So we've made this um, kind of a shocked look on the, the one side of his face. Maybe we can plus that and uh, show what that would look like on the other side of his face. So like that. And then you want to bring this down here. All right, so I would say the one day face rig is gonna work for, uh, for this pose, more or less. I think this is pretty expressive and gets the job done. So let's look at another pose. Let's see what else I can do. I haven't tried this, so this is this is going to be scary. So can he um, look? Can he have this compression where he has a pain look? I don't know. Let's find out. So let's save what we did here. Let's see. We'll uh, select all these. Save a key. And I'm going to start again with his um, his mouth closed. All right, and let's see. So we're going to drag those lids closed. If you grab both of them together, then you can sort of move it up and down. But we're just going to want to bring this one down and bring this one up a little bit. Same thing over here. Okay, now we're going to bring his brows down. I'm going to bring the angry brow down, but also the outer brow and the, uh, the squint up. I'm going to do that for both sides. All right, we don't have lots of control on his lips. I, if I had more time, I would have something to puff out his lips to show a lot of uh, compression. But one thing we can do is grab that mouth control, which again has the, the lips above <clears throat> as well as the, the, the lower lip. And we can sort of compress it upwards. We can scale it up. We can shift it up. So we get this feeling of compression. Same thing with the upper head. We can pull that down. Now we have this feeling of compression. And then maybe a little bit of outward pushing on the, on the, the cheeks. All right. So he looks, he looks uh, a little bit pain. Let's see what else we can do. Maybe we can grab this uh, lip here. Maybe we can roll that a little bit. Wonder if we can scale the lip so it feels like it's tightening. And then next thing we do, we could use the blend shape that creates the grimace in the face. Okay, grimace on the one side and then on the other. We don't have anything too fancy to keep the lips closed, so we'll just have to kind of compensate when, when anything splits like that. Next thing, maybe we could add a little bit of a sneer uh, in, the, in the nose. Maybe widening the mouth would help with just a little bit, have this feeling of tension pulling back. Okay, other than that, maybe you could uh, just the overall pose, like the, the head coming up a little bit. Let's see what it, what it looked like in the original. Oh, it's actually down. Okay. 
But this would be an, another kind of a pain look. Or maybe we can just sort of tuck this up a little bit more, create even more compression right there. All right, so I think our one-day face rig is performing pretty well. We can have him grimace, look like maybe he's in pain, right? And then um, have the shocked look. So I'd say that was pretty good, and um, I'll call this 3D Appeal Makeover done.